Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome back to day 18 of my 21 day summer boot camp challenge. It's another day to power through. So much of our strength, power, and speed come from our core and the ability to stabilize our trunk while moving weight and our body. We will open up with a focus on balance and core activation before moving into ballistic and plyometric movements. We'll wrap up with a little ab work to finish today's workout. I will be giving you modifications to take the jumping out if needed. You'll wanna grab a set of medium weight dumbbells and a medicine ball if you have one. No ball, no worries. Now let's get to it. summer boot camp challenge it is time to get started i'm super excited today it's all about pure power so we'll work on core we'll work on some ballistic workout some uh, plyometric as well um for today i have a 10 pound um medicine ball if you don't have one don't worry about it okay don't worry about it at all for weights we're doing um i have 20 pounds a little bit medium weight for you if you can you might experiment with something around 10 to 20 as well some of you might be able to go up another five or ten pounds but just keep it there we're trying to do uh, keep with the same weight all right let's go ahead and warm up just a bit i want to start with our hands on our shoulders we're going to circle around and kiss those elbows we're going to move through just a few things here and then we're going to get into some activation a little bit just warming up a little bit more for this okay because it's going to be dynamic all right <laughs> here we go up and around let's reverse it Good, kiss those elbows, reach in and out nice and wide. You got it. Woo, there we go. That's backstroke, my favorite. <laughs> there we go, up and around, you got it. We'll warm up this upper body. We do have some plyometric push-ups today. There is no need to jump on a lot of this. I will have modifications for you. Um, I have 45 seconds in between each of these to talk to you about it. Let's go up and around, big butterflies. Um, so no worries if you're not into jumping, you're like, oh no, I can't do this. I have a modification. Oh, I don't have a medicine ball, I can't do this. Oh no, you don't, you don't need the ball. So stay right here with me, don't give up. Come on in, see what it's about, get inspired, do what you can. All right, nice work. Let's go with lay swings forward and back. Drawing that navel in and up. We're just swinging, opening up the hips here, loosening up, good. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, other side. When we get done with this, we'll go into some bird dogs, some other things moving through. Single leg squats, RDLs. Just make sure that each side of our body is turned on working for itself so it can work together on the ballistic and the plyos and the things we're gonna be doing later. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, let's come to the floor. We're gonna open up with the bird dog here, okay? 30 seconds of work here, we're gonna alternate. Let's lift that right leg, left arm, nice and high, squeeze that glute, stick it by drawing that belly in, that belly button in and up, great. Reset, other side, right arm up. There you go, and down. You go at your pace, but make sure that you don't rush this move. I do want you to stick it at the top. Hold and make sure that you have balance and control and that you're stabilized through this movement. Woo, there you go, really squeeze that glute. Feel it activate. Nice work, keep moving. We're going for a full minute here, just alternating each side. Let's take it into a little crunch here now. Out and back out and down, okay? So lift opposing arm and leg. Let's bring it across the body into a crunch. Lift back out, set it down. We're just alternating. Lifting a crunch across the body. Out and down, good. Other side. Out, in, out, and down. Nice work. We're gonna do a single leg squat here on one side. Up and down. If that's too much, just go with your squats for now. It's all good, okay? Here we go. Balancing. If it's too much, hold onto a wall. We're just going as low as we can without any pain or losing that balance. Draw that stomach in, all right? And turn the side. Stay here just in case I need to grab that wall. Working that single leg. If you have a chair, squatting to the chair is great. Here we go. Other leg up and down. As everything wobbles around, try to pull that core in, stabilize. This is much better without shoes, but we need to stay in our shoes because we're gonna be jumping. At least some of us will be jumping. 
Good, some of us might be able to touch that knee down to the floor and up, I'm not quite there. Three, two, and one. All right, let's get into a side plank for me. Activating our obliques here. Shoulder over elbow, hips forward, no rounding forward. Shoulder stacked, having this arm up helps. If this is too easy for you and you want a little additional work, lift that foot up for a little star side plank. We'll have 30 seconds on this side and then to the other. Keep those hips forward and hips up. Shoulders stacked, breathe. All right, great job. We're gonna quickly switch to the other side. Same thing, find your side plank. Lift if you're there. Make sure the shoulders are stacked. Hips forward and up. We're nice and aligned here. You do not have to hold this foot up if you're not there. You can stay here. You can even come down to a kneeling side plank as well. Modify, modify. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we got a single leg RDL. And if you want, you can come down and touch the ground and back through. We'll stay with one side and then switch. You could come out and reach and come through. Just finding balance on that one leg. Maybe you don't have the balance today. Maybe we just hinge here in a kickstand, mostly with that weight on that front leg. Good, switch sides. And we're about to get into the main set of this workout. It's gonna go quick. It's about 35 minute workout. Not too long again, high intensity, lots of rest because we're gonna work that high intensity. So get ready, have a towel nearby and some water. I realize I don't have a towel, so thank goodness my sun visor is on. <laughs> oh boy, if it's not the water, it's the towel. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna rest. We're gonna get going here in a second. Let me run through these exercises really quick because, well actually, we have 45 seconds rest in between for me to show you how they're done, okay? So I know you're like, man, that's a lot of rest, but 15 seconds of very hard quick work with some weight, body weight. The first one is a plyo push-up. I realize not all of us are there. Just work your push-up if you're not. You can take any of these exercises I give you and bring them down, okay? Especially for just getting started. So from the wall, you could push off and back. You wanna push off until those fingertips are just about an inch or two off the wall and then catch yourself with bent elbows nice and soft. So you could do an incline there. If that's a little easy, maybe find the back of a couch or a chair, something sturdy that you can push off. It, you can even go from a kneeling position on the floor here so we can push and catch in and out here or you can do it from your toes. We're gonna go 15 seconds, so do your best to work hard in three, two, and one. Here we go. That's it. In and out from your knees if you're there. If you're not, find an incline. And if that's still too much, plyos are not something you wanna start out with, time. So if you're just getting started, work your push-up first. Get that push-up down and start going into this. All right, real quick, we're gonna go over these next few exercises. I have four of them. We're gonna have some plyometrics in here. When I do the split jump rainbow, you have the choice of doing a reverse lunge, okay? And slamming or maybe just chopping with your hands if you don't have the ball. You can even do that with a little bit of weight up and over, okay? Holding the heads of the dumbbell. I hope that makes sense. And then our plyo push-ups, those are tough. If you're just getting started, just suggest doing your push-up. If you're there, you can do an incline off the wall where you press off and catch yourself. You push off till your fingertips leave the wall just an inch or two and catch yourself in bent soft arms. I'm gonna be doing this from the floor. You can do it from a kneeling position or full on this one as well. We have a push press overhead, okay? Actually, we're just, we're not even do the jerk. We're gonna do a push press here real quick, getting as much in on the shoulders and so on. I'll get to the rest. Grab your ball if you have one. It's only 15 seconds. Here we go. We're gonna slant, rainbow slam with our splits. There you go, side to side, up and over. Catching that ball, three, two, and one, nice work. Now, we do have, I believe we're doing four sets of this or five today, okay? So quite a few rounds of this. Um, something to keep in mind here on those split squats. Again, we can just step back and bring the ball up and over. Make sure that ball is away from your face if it bounces 
like mine, and it's hard. You do not want to get clocked in the face here, okay? Or just take a dumbbell by the head and just come up and over with it, okay? A little less plyometric, but still good strength um, on that one as well in cardio. All right, plyo push-ups are coming in. We have 15 seconds. Remember, you're either pushing off the wall, or with me, I'm gonna push in and out with this, okay? Three, two, and one. And I'm gonna catch myself wide, and I'm gonna catch myself close, wide, close. There you go. Three, two, and one. So from your knees, you can do this too, going in and out, all right? Great job, that's a tough one. Start with just working on your push-ups first. All right, here's our push press. We're gonna grab our dumbbells. A push press, the weight should be heavier than what you can strictly press. So I can, I can strict press this, but it's pretty hard, especially when I'm tired, okay? So we're gonna go into a little bit of a, a dip here. All right, so we're gonna push the hips back. Not, not a full squat, not like our thruster that we did the other day, it's just a dip to press, okay? Reset, dip, press, reset. Doing as much as you can in 15 seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Now, if your weight is not heavy enough to push press, it feels too easy, do a strict press. Rest, nice work. All right. Now we're gonna go into another slam. I love slamming. If you don't have a ball, here's what it looks like. Interlace your fingers. You're gonna push back into this deadlift down here. You're gonna swing. Actually, let's do this for you. Two hands here. You're gonna reach and slam, okay? But my hips go back, almost like I'm doing a swing here, right? I'm gonna swing up and slam down. If you don't wanna jump, up to the toes and down. But instead of a squat, I'm pushing back into that deadlift, okay? if you want with me, but make sure if it's a bouncy ball, you stop it. We're gonna go up, slam, and stop it with our hands. Up, slam, three, two, and one. Here we go. You got it. Three, two, one. Woo, good work. Let's rest. One down here, we're going back to the top. Notice how that heart rate comes up, okay? That's why we need 45 seconds or we're not gonna be able to get enough of this explosiveness and power behind what we're doing. We have split jump rainbows. Remember, let me show you. I, this is a little heavy for me for that chop overhead, but I wanna show you real quick. If you have a weight, you could come down here, up and over that knee. This is heavy. I would use like an eight, maybe a five or 10 on that one, all right? Here we go, eight seconds. We're gonna split jump, and you can use your hands if you don't have a ball for this. Here we go, let's work up and over. Bring it all the way like a rainbow. Three, two, one, rest. All right, plyo push-ups coming up. Remember, in and out, in and out. Try it from your knees if you've been doing this a while. Go to a wall, the back of a couch, you can push off. Get something there for me, okay? 25 seconds rest. We'll take it. All right, this feels good. Here we go, we have 15 seconds. Find something that works for you. Again, just getting started, work on your push-ups. Get to those full push-ups, okay? Make sure you do full push-ups before you start doing too many plyometric stuff, all right? You can do it from the wall, it's a little easier. Three, two, and one, let's work, come on. Fifteen seconds is all it is, make it count. Three, two, and one, whoo! All right, that's gonna be the toughest one for me today. <laughs> you might see me go to my knees. All right, we have that push press. I was gonna do a split jerk. We're gonna do just that push press, okay? It's not a full, you're not using your entire legs here. It's just a dip. All right, and try not to lean this way forward. 
and dip. Push your bottom back, get a little bounce in your knee just to help clear that weight up overhead, okay? All right, 15 seconds, grab your weights, have them nearby. Let me know what you think about these. These are great um, ways to get faster um, and more powerful. And if you're, if you're somebody who races, here we go. Three, two, and one. And even just the more powerful you are, the more strength you'll gain or that you'll be able to do later. Three, two, and one. It's good to work all of these energy systems, okay? Here we go. We got that deadlift jump. Okay, so a couple different things on that one. I just want to give you, I'm not trying to be wishy-washy, I'm just trying to give everybody, because I don't know who's on that side watching and where you are today, something to do. Again, we can swing, push back, up on those toes down, up on the toes down. You can jump with that and slam. You could go down the middle here with your finger lays, uh, fingers crossed, push back, up, and slam. That's one of my favorites too. I really love that one. It's just like using the ball, but instead of the ball, you just use your hands here and release the fingers. We're going in three, two, and one. If you have a ball, you've got to stop it, especially if it bounces. If it's a dead ball, you're fine. Mine is not today. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest, nice work. Oh boy, good work. We're resting, another round coming up. We're gonna start with those rainbow slams. Okay, and again, interlace your fingers if you don't have a ball, and you can still cross the body with a little chop here, okay? That'll work. Do a reverse lunge instead of a jump, if that's what we need today. It's all good, you're getting something done. Break it down. So even if having the arms here and stepping back is a, too much, just work on your reverse lunge, all right? Take it down to that simple form, work there. Six seconds, here we go. Three, two, and one. Up and over, whoop, there you go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, plyo push up. Grab a sip of water where you need it. Don't gulp a ton. <laughs> Not when we're jumping, okay? You'll feel that slosh your eyes. I can feel too good. All right, push ups. Some sort of push up. Again, from the wall, it looks like this. You can go a little lower and push out. You can come higher to make it easier. And we're not pushing out and stopping here this way. We're pushing out till our fingers just clear the wall and then we're catching ourselves. But be careful, work your push-ups first, get those down. We have eight seconds here and we're gonna go. Whew, here we go, three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Stretch it out if you want in between, rest. I know I need it, well you should have earned it, okay? You should feel that. Maybe if you're not doing plyo, maybe if you've taken it down and you wanna do a few extras, we have 45 seconds of rest here, you can take it by reps, maybe get you know six to 10 in and then rest, or I would say actually you're gonna get six, probably eight to 10 and then rest if you need to, okay? Got just giving you options, here we go. We have our push press. This is quick. My dip is not with a lean back and a knees forward, okay? It's a little sit. It's a tiny little sit, though. It's a dip. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Here we go. And then reset before you dip again. Two, see? Three. I don't want to be dipping and lowering my weights at the same time. We want those weights to return and then go again. Three, two, and one. Rest. So we did thrusters couple days ago, I think, it was a couple, it's been a few days, um, we did a squat to press in a very short time, okay, and we tried to use lighter weights so we can move faster. Now we've shortened that down to just shoulders, 
to add a little bit of weight, we've lengthened our time. So you still get about six reps in in that 15 seconds doing heavier weight, all right? So I hope that makes sense as we go along and we do this sort of thing and you're working on these. All right, 10 seconds here. We have our deadlift jump to slam. I'm slamming with the ball. If you have any questions about the equipment, let me know. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. Get as high as you can. Explode. Stop that ball. Keep it out away from your face if you're worried. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, good job. We have another round coming up. I believe I set four in here. I wanted more, but the workout became too long. So if you like this and you want to go longer, go back, repeat it again, like for another couple rounds. Get six in, okay? Again, I'm keeping these short. We're trying to focus on other areas of our life and health, whether that be re uh, stress reduction, intake of water, food, whole foods. All right, what do we do? We got our split rainbow coming up in 10 seconds. Maybe it's sleep. This is my number one right now is figuring my sleep out. Whew, it's been tough. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Up and over rainbows with a little switch in those legs, a little split or a reverse lunge without the jump if you want. Three, two, one, rest. All right, good work. Plyo push-ups coming up. All right, you're doing great. I like the mix up in here again. It's boot camp. Um, again, when I think boot camp, I think outdoor, um, large groups. Doesn't have to be a large group, but outside, very minimal equipment. Uh, challenge yourself in different ways. So that's what I'm trying to do for you here, to show you different ways to work out that will keep your body challenging guessing uh, without always just doing the same thing with the weights. Maybe you don't have those weights. Here we go, plyo push-ups. Three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. Something I want to say on that, we have our push press next, so get your weights nearby. Um, something I want to say on that is, I've been working really hard on core, okay? Again, from your run, to your cycling, to your swimming, to your rowing, to your strength training in here, all right? All of your strength, power, speed, comes from the core. The more, the stronger you are in the core, the more stable you are through your hips, your joints, your knees, all of that, the, the faster you can be, the more dynamic you can be, um, the stronger you can be, right? So you wanna think about that, and I'll explain on those push-ups in a second, because we're getting ready to go. Three, two, and one, dip press. It's a quick one, dip press, reset. Good. Three, two, and one, rest. Nice work. All right. So in order for me to do that kind of push-up, that plyometric, in and out, not only do I have to have a strong chest, right? You know push-ups are hard. You're like, but I can bench press this much weight, or I can push this much weight on dumbbells, but I can't do a push-up. It's so much plank. I mean, there's so much core. There's a plank in there, right? So once you have that core stability and strength, you'll find that the push-ups come a little bit more natural. Same with your plyo. There's no way I could do that jumping and out if I had a loose core. If I was just letting my belly dump and go. I have got to be as tight as I can in order to move like that, okay? So remember that. All right, deadlift jumps, here we go. Overhead, push that bottom back towards the back wall on this one. It's not a squat jump, it's a deadlift jump. So we're pushing back. Swinging up and down, good. Three, two, and one, rest. All right. Looks like we got one more going on. One more, I'm super excited. <laughs> I was hoping that we'd get a few of these in. Okay, one more round. Get ready in 30 seconds. So we will finish with a short core here today. 
as well. And I'm gonna put up a video on what it means to draw in and what it means to brace. They're two separate things that can be done together once you've had some practice. All right, so we will, I will have that up for you. I'll look for that in my Facebook. If you're not there, um, it's TXT Online Fitness. Join me there. And by the way, if you are enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment. Here we go, first one, split jump with rainbow. Woo, up and over, you got it. Get that jump in there. Move explosively, powerfully. Three, two, one, rest. All right, plyo push-ups next. So even if you're at the wall, even if you're just working your push-up, you know, if that push-up's not coming along, go to your knees, go to a wall, take some of that weight off of there. Work your planks, okay? Work a plank hold. Work that kind of thing. Crunches alone are great, you need those. But we also need to learn how to stabilize, how to tighten up through that and hold it. All right, core stamina here. All right, 15 seconds. Push-ups are coming. So at this point, you know, I might get tired through here in the, that, that push-up, even my chest too, yes. But if this goes, the whole thing falls apart. Here we go, three, two, and one. Find some sort of push-up for me. Three, two, and one, good. Rest. All right, push press coming up. Have those weights nearby. At 45 seconds, seems like a lot of rest, but it goes by quickly. Another thing I wanna say, I'm just coaching during this time, I'm sorry. Talk, 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 talk. Um, if you are a runner, I've been focusing on my runners that I have right now. If you can focus, you know, if we're punting this way when we run or moving our arms too much, same thing if our stomach, you know, if we're like moving all around running, we get this motion that goes every which direction. You really want it to go forward in order to have good speed, right? Um, so tightening up through that. I want you to think about it the next time you go for a run. I want you to really tighten up and brace like we do in here and draw in and see how that run goes. Here we go. Push, push, whoop, overhead. Boom, that's it. Three, two, and one, rest, nice work. All right, deadlift jump coming up. Have that ball nearby if you're using one. If not, just be ready. Um, yes, yeah, so I want you to try it. I want you to think about where those arms are going, okay? And you know, talking about hip strength too, if our hips are weak and our knees are caving in every time we land or we're kicking this foot out, we've got energy moving in all directions. We need it to move forward. We need to be stable through the hips, through the knees, through the ankles all the way down. So that does originate from the core and our hip adductor, or hip flexors, that area. So we're gonna be talking about this a lot. <laughs> Here we go, we got deadlift jump. Three, two, and one. Here we go with a slam, watch yourself. We have a minute's rest after this, whoa. Before we go into the core, and it's a short one, but we can do three. You can always repeat it if you want on your own. Three, two, and one, rest. Nice work. I'm gonna be using my ball on this core. You do not have to. Listen, if you are tired, if you find it hard, you're not focused on drawing in and up, pulling that rib cage in and bracing, then I want you to take this, I want you to be very careful because as we tire out, that goes, or as I use too much weight when I don't need to, that goes, all right? so. Down from the floor, we're gonna do a leg raise with kick. I'm gonna use my ball for added weight. You do not need to. So this is a line leg raise, one leg. You could bring your arms up and go fast here, and then lower with control. Whoop. It's a quick, explosive lift, okay? Imagine yourself standing and kicking. That sort of movement. You can add your weight. You don't wanna hit your shins though, be careful on this one. Then we're gonna have a sit up with a catch if you have a ball. If not, you'll just sit up. Three, two, and one. You can hold a dumbbell here and work this just as well. We're gonna do 30 seconds with each leg. So this ball might get a little heavy. You may decide, or the dumbbell, if you don't wanna use it. Good. 
Make sure you're drawing that navel down towards the floor. That you have a firm back against the floor. Good, switch. Bend that right knee, left leg goes straight, pull over. That's it. Exhale, powerful. Blow that air, but draw in. So even though I'm blowing the air, I'm not pushing the belly out. That's it, come on. Three, two, and one. Here we go, we're coming up. We'll have rest after this and we're throwing the ball. If you don't have a ball, you can just take your dumbbell and reach up, or you can just do a sit up or crunch without any of this, okay? Now think about pulling in and up here. Thirty seconds of work. Three, two, and one. Great job. We're gonna rest. So you're feeling that in your neck. Forget the ball. Come down. Just work on crunches, okay? Protecting that, that neck. Don't pull in here though, okay? You want to lift the shoulder blades and the shoulders off the floor on that. Woo wee! Okay, three. We're going. It's our last round. It's intense, but it's short. Here we go. Up and down. Good, really pull up. Exhale, draw the belly button in. Make sure it's there, that you've got a firm back each time. If you're having trouble, put the other foot down and that will help, okay? Halfway, switch, other leg up, 90 degrees, or foot down flat, that's okay too, all right? <laughs> Feel it, come on, we got it. Three, two, and one. Sit up. Some sort of sit up or crunch here, whatever works for you today. 30 seconds, you cannot come up into a full sit up and not have that drawing in here, okay? Because if you're back, if you feel a lot of lower back pressure, stop, go to a crunch. Stay low to the floor. And I make sure every time before I come up that I'm drawing that in and tight before I do my sit up, okay? I wanna make sure I've got that. Three, two, and one. Whew. Nice work. All right, let's put that ball away. Our weight. Great job, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this. I don't know, I love to mix it up. If you're looking for uh, particular types of workouts, let me know, okay? Just send me a message, a comment. I'm trying to keep things coming. I, I think I have an idea going forward how I wanna run this for you so most of you feel like you're doing something that you need. Let me know, okay? Let's come down there. I just need to stretch out the abs right now, so <laughs> I don't know about you. So let's come down to the floor. We're gonna go up into a small cobra. You can go with your um, forearms down, which actually I feel this right now. If you need to, you can push up a little bit. And if you want, look over your shoulder, get a little twist there and reach. Back down, good. Let's come all the way up, push into child's pose just for a second. We're gonna go back into that. Small cobra again, walk it out. Down to the floor, forearms down if you want. Push up if you've got it just a little bit. I like to look side to side on this. All right, nice work. Let's lay down on our back. Bring that right knee in, squeeze. Let's go ahead and do some ankle circles here, all the way around. And let's reverse that circle. Nice work. Let's extend that leg up, grab behind the thigh on the hamstring. Nice and easy. I've got a little bit of a bend here. Don't overdo this stretch, especially if your hamstrings are very tight. 
just until you feel a little something. Feels, it should feel good. So like for me, that's about here. If I start to pull, it starts to feel not so good, like something's <laughs> not right. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, bring that foot down. Let's bring the other leg in, squeeze in here. Let's do some ankle circles around either direction. And let's work it the other direction. Good, we're gonna extend that knee into a hamstring stretch here. I checked with my yoga instructor and I was doing that one stretch right that we tried oh, on day 17 maybe. We're gonna do it again. So what I want you to do is bring both feet flat on the floor here. Bring your, let's bring your left foot around that right foot and let that knee fall open. And then bring that right leg up in a 90 degree bend and hold. Make sure you try to keep the hips squared and let the knee fall open. If, if it pops up, you can kind of help push it down here. Good, switch, bring that right leg under the left. Let that knee fall open, hold. Timer is complete, we're at our time. I'm sorry I'm keeping you. Go ahead and get this stretch in for me. If you need to stretch that upper body and shoulders, go ahead, I'll show you the next one we'll do. We're gonna do a scorpion. All right, let's roll to our stomach. Everything from the floor today, we were up the whole time. Here you go, just reach behind with that foot nice and easy. Stretch into the shoulder and chest here. So you want that arm behind you out like an airplane wing like this. Okay, foot is down and relaxed. I'm not like trying to reach it way back there. I'm just trying to use it as a kickstand. You can lift, lift that arm up if you want for a little more of a stretch, more roll. Some people can reach back, not this gal. Let's go to the other side, same thing. Just go back and forth. Ah, oh, that was a good workout. That felt good. It's a good mix up on our systems. All right, nice work. I'm gonna stop there. Feel free to keep stretching. Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my 21 day summer boot camp challenge. I know I am. I love that we're just bringing out a few pieces of equipment. If you don't have a medicine ball, I have a dead ball here too that's up here on this back shelf. Those are great because you don't have to risk uh, getting clocked in the face. Someday I'll tell you about that story. It happened to me. <laughs> um, but you could, or you could get a bouncing one, which is great for when we do kind of that up and over, it comes to you so you don't have to go all the way to the ground. But ask questions, especially if you're enjoying your wor um, workouts from home and you're wanting to build up some um, equipment. All right, all right, that's it. I could talk all day. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate your support. Please tell a friend to tell a friend, and we'll see you on day 19. Bye-bye.